Hello, everyone, and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. My name is Catherine, and today we have an intermediate level lesson all about a very special kind of. Person who helps you out with your kids. That's right. Today we want to get a nanny. A nanny. A nanny. So a nanny is a person, usually a woman, but it can be a man as、mm -hmm. well, I guess. And this person takes care of your children when you're working or when you're out of the house. That's right. So this is what's going on today. We're going to see what type of responsibilities a nanny has. And、uh, so let's listen to our dialogue and we'll be back in a bit. Are you up for some tennis today? Sorry, I can't. I have to go to work, pick up Jake and Maddie from school, and make them an afternoon snack, then take Jake to soccer practice and Maddie to dance class. Mmm, you sound exhausted. Maybe you should hire a nanny to help you out. She can pick the kids up and take them to their after school activities. She can also help you do some household chores and run some errands. Oh, I don't know. It's hard to find the right nanny. You have to consider her previous work experience, the responsibilities you give her, and how she interacts with the kids. I would love to have someone to help me out, though. I think you should definitely consider it. This way, you won't have to juggle such a busy schedule, and you'll still get to spend time with the kids in the evenings. I can refer you to this great nanny, Amy. She used to work for my neighbors before they moved away. She's very responsible, a good cook, and great with kids. Oh, that's great. Thanks, Grace. Can you give me her number? I'll talk it over with Julie and give her a call tomorrow. Maybe this way I won't be so tired every day, and Julie and I might even get to go on a date once in a while. All right, we're back. So now let's take a look at some key words on language takeaway. Language takeaway. So, as you said, Marco, we don't just find a nanny, we hire a nanny. So, what does the word hire mean? Okay, so we have the verb to hire someone, and that means to get someone to work for you, and you pay them obviously money in exchange for their services. Okay, so this is different from finding a job for someone, because、mm -hmm. I could find a job for someone, but maybe that job is at a restaurant.、Mm -hmm. But when I hire someone, that means I want that person to work. For me or、That's、for、right. my company. That's right. So, in this case, obviously, we are not a company. We are just a couple of people who are looking for a nanny. So, we need to hire a nanny. We need to get her to work for us. And obviously, you would pay her a salary. All right. So, when you pay her a salary, you also have some expectations about what the nanny will do. So, one of those expectations is that the nanny will take the children to their after school activities. That's right. So, this is a, a phrase, if you will,、um, or A type of thing that happens after school. So, usually, children, when they finish their classes, they have some things that they can do at school, like, for example, sports. That's right. So, this is very common in America, but not so common in other parts of the world. So, just to explain, if your child is in high school or middle school, after school is over, there's no more class,、mm -hmm. your child might want to play soccer、mm -hmm. or to go to art class.、Mm -hmm. And these are things that you do at the school. But it's usually considered an activity, not a class. And so we call these after school activities. That's right. So these activities are usually for recreation.、Um, they're not really part of the, of the curriculum. It's not, it's not a class. No, you don't get marks or, or grades for these. These、mm -hmm. are just for fun, you know. A lot of people work. And so they, they need to have these activities for their kids to, to stay at school until they finish working. That's right. Okay, so we want the nanny to take the children or pick them up. From their after school activities. And、uh, we also need the nanny to help out with some household chores. Okay, so you should know where these chores are being done. The first word is household, which means in the house. Okay, so、uh, examples of household chores would be like、uh, cleaning the windows, washing the dishes, or、uh, doing laundry. So basically, any type of cleaning around the house. That's right, making the house look nicer. And so, usually, children have chores, they, these are things they need to do, but、uh, a nanny can also help with household chores. Okay. And also, we want the nanny to help and、uh, run some errands. Okay, so this is funny. This phrasal、uh, verb, this phrase uses the word to run,、mm -hmm. but we're not running like, you know, 
a sport. Right. Uh, we're going to do some errands, but mm-hmm. the verb here is to run errands. Okay. So, uh, you know, Marco, on Sunday I have to run some errands. I'm sorry I can't go out to the movie with you guys. Okay. So to run errands, what does that mean? Well, an errand is like a job or a task that you have to do, but it's usually not, not something you get paid for. Okay. Uh, to do to run an errand is like to go to the grocery store mm-hmm. and pick up food or, you know, oh, to pick up your clothes at the, the laundromat. You know, you okay. have dry cleaning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they're kind of like chores, I guess, but you don't really do them in the house. You have to go outside and run these errands. You have to go pay your bills, for example. Exactly. And so, you know, when I was growing up, on the weekends, my mother would always run all of her errands because during the week, she had to work. Okay, very good. So a lot of interesting uh, words there. I think we can go ahead and listen to the dialogue again. And we'll be back in a bit with Fluency Builder. Mel, are you up for some tennis today? Sorry, I can't. I have to go to work, pick up Jake and Maddie from school, and make them an afternoon snack, then take Jake to soccer practice and Maddie to dance class. Mmm, you sound exhausted. Maybe you should hire a nanny to help you out. She can pick the kids up and take them to their after-school activities. She can also help you do some household chores and run some errands. Oh, I don't know. It's hard to find the right nanny. You have to consider her previous work experience, the responsibilities you give her, and how she interacts with the kids. I would love to have someone to help me out, though. I think you should definitely consider it. This way, you won't have to juggle such a busy schedule, and you'll still get to spend time with the kids in the evenings. I can refer you to this great nanny, Amy. She used to work for my neighbors before they moved away. She's very responsible, a good cook, and great with kids. Oh, that's great. Thanks, Grace. Can you give me her number? I'll talk it over with Julie and give her a call tomorrow. Maybe this way I won't be so tired every day, and Julie and I might even get to go on a date once in a while. All right, we're back with Fluency Builder, and so let's take a look at some of these phrases now. Fluency Builder. So this first phrase is a very kind of spoken English phrase, something that you're going to hear all the time, especially if you're talking to your American friends. We say, are you up for some tennis today? To be up for. Okay. So to be up for something. This is from the very first sentence when Grace says, hey, Mel, are you up for some tennis today? What does it mean if I ask someone if they are up for some tennis? This means, would you like to play tennis today? Are you interested in playing tennis today? So is this a good idea for you? Do you mm-hmm. want to do this? So basically, are you willing to play tennis today? Yes. All right. So to be up for is to be interested in or willing to do something. Are you up for a movie tonight? All right. Okay. Or maybe you can ask your friend, uh, are you up for grabbing a bite to eat later Absolutely, on? Absolutely. I'm hungry. So... To be up for is a good way to ask a question. After that, though, we have another phrase. This phrase is very important when you're trying to get someone to help you. So how do we ask, can you help me? In the dialogue, we saw how Mel said that it would be a great idea to get a nanny because she would love to have someone to help me out. So to help someone out, to help me out. So this is interesting because you could say, I need someone to help me, Mm -hmm. uh, but it's more common to hear the phrase, to help me out. Mm -hmm. Uh, So you're not going out. Mm -hmm. You're not, Mm -hmm. it doesn't have to do with space. Mm -hmm. Uh, But we just say this phrase, to help out, means to help someone. So it's basically the exact same thing, but it just sounds a lot more natural. Exactly. So, uh, you know, Marco, I'm moving tomorrow. Do you have some time to help me out? Okay. So you say, help me out, but you could also say, do you have time to help me? Mm, And both are okay. Or if I'm talking about me and my friend, you know, we're really busy tomorrow. Do you have any time to help us out? Okay, so we just changed the the person there. We went to the plural form. Yes, me, uh, us, you. Okay, very good. Okay, and uh, so for our last phrase, this is actually also very interesting. When Grace was telling Mel that she's really busy and uh, if she gets a nanny, she wouldn't have to juggle such a busy schedule. All right, so the key verb here is to juggle. Now, I wish I could show this to you guys, but as this is an audio (laughs) podcast, I can't. What does the verb to juggle mean, Marco? Well, I don't know if you've ever seen clowns or at a circus where people have three balls and they throw them in the air with two hands and and they're they're basically throwing uh, stuff in the air, sometimes balls or pins and stuff like that. Sometimes fire. Fire. Mm -hmm. So that's to juggle, basically to have 
many things in your hands and be able to, 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 move them. to move them at the same time. All right. So when you're talking about a busy schedule, this means that you have lots and lots of things to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's important to be able to juggle your busy schedule. That means to, to handle doing many things at the same time. That's right. That's right. right. So another way to say this is um, because you're, you know, you're so busy right now, having a nanny will help you complete your tasks or, you know, finish what you need to do. That's right. So you can also say um, the CEO of the company has to juggle a very busy schedule. All right. He has many, many things to do in general. That's right. (laughs) Okay. So a lot of stuff. uh, I think it's time for us to listen to this dialogue one last time. And we'll be back to talk a little bit more. Are you up for some tennis today? Sorry, I can't. I have to go to work, pick up Jake and Maddie from school, and make them an afternoon snack, then take Jake to soccer practice and Maddie to dance class. Mmm, you sound exhausted. Maybe you should hire a nanny to help you out. She can pick the kids up and take them to their after-school activities. She can also help you do some household chores and run some errands. Oh, I don't know. It's hard to find the right nanny. You have to consider her previous work experience, the responsibilities you give her, and how she interacts with the kids. I would love to have someone to help me out, though. I think you should definitely consider it. This way, you won't have to juggle such a busy schedule, and you'll still get to spend time with the kids in the evenings. I can refer you to this great nanny, Amy. She used to work for my neighbors before they moved away. She's very responsible, a good cook, and great with kids. Oh, that's great. Thanks, Grace. Can you give me her number? I'll talk it over with Julie and give her a call tomorrow. Maybe this way I won't be so tired every day, and Julie and I might even get to go on a date once in a while. So there are a lot of people all Mm -hmm. over the world who have nannies. I often see them when I go to New York City. Mm -hmm. You know, women who take out the kids and they push them in strollers and uh, mom and dad maybe go to work or, uh, or have classes or something. That's right. Now, this is interesting because there's also another word called a babysitter, but it's different, right? There's a difference between a nanny and a babysitter. They both take care of kids, but I think it's the time that they do it that's a difference. That's right. So a nanny is usually hired on a, like a contract basis. You mm-hmm. say, I need a nanny to come and watch my kids every day, Monday to Friday for the next six months. Mm-hmm. But with a babysitter, you say, hey, my husband and I, we want to go to watch a movie on Friday. Can you come for two hours? Okay. All right. So a nanny is long term. It's mm-hmm. someone who maybe lives with you, mm-hmm. someone who does some work at your house, mm-hmm. someone who cleans the dishes and watches the kids. But a, a babysitter just comes, you know, once a month or just when, when you need her. That's mm-hmm. right. Okay. So that's the main difference between a nanny and, and a babysitter. Now, mm-hmm. as you said, they're very, very common nowadays because... I guess it's not like uh, before when women usually would stay at home and take care of the children. Now, both parents usually work, and so more more people are getting nannies. That's right. Although nannies can be very expensive. It depends where you live. And so Mm -hmm. for people who can't afford a nanny, you know, if a nanny is too expensive, the child, the baby, will go to daycare. Mm -hmm. And that's actually like a, a... a place where many babies or children are together and there's, you know, one teacher or mm-hmm. one or one nanny who takes care of everyone. Mm, that's right. So it's an interesting topic. Maybe some of our listeners grew up with a nanny or, or have a na- or had a nanny when they were growing up. Or maybe you have kids of your own and you have a nanny now. Yeah, let us know. You should uh, check our website out. We are EnglishPod.com. We hope to see you guys there. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.